So this is how my bow tie looks so far. And I'm in the middle of making it, so basically what I did is I took a piece of felt. And since felt is inexpensive, it's like 99 cents per piece, like at Walmart. So you take it and you basically fold it. And then you have like a simple bow tie design. And then if you fold it three times, then you get a more defined bow tie. So I basically did that and then I wrapped it up with this rope. Then I put some puffy paint to do the little ink drops and the little designs. And along the way, on the back, I will hot glue a clip to put on my shirt. This is how the bow turned out, guys. I really like how it turned out. It just looks like it's straight out of Bendy and the Ink Machine, like a real life bow tie. So I did add some ribbon here to cover up the rope because I didn't think the rope looked that appealing, so I like it better like this. I also love how the puffy paint just raised to make it look more 3D and cool and make it look actually like, you know, ink dripping down. I also just added this, the pin to the back so I could just clip it to my button up shirt. So there is our bow tie. So we are gonna start on making little devil horns. So what we're gonna be needing is a headband for a base for our ears to be on because clip on ears are cool but sometimes they just don't work and it's easier just to have a headband so it's like just quick put them on so we are gonna need that a paper to sketch out an idea of how big we want the ears to be and some instamorph now this is what we will be sculpting the ears out of it is basically this plastic that is moldable you just put it in like hot water and then you can mold it so first we're gonna widen the headband because when the headband is on your head it stretches out a bit so you just want to put your arm down and stretch it out like so Pull it a little more down and we are just going to trace around the base of the headband. Oops. <laughs> Cut this right down the middle. So next we want to draw the basic shape of Bendy's ears or his horns. Why do I keep saying ears? The horns. I like how that one looks. So I'm going to stick with that size horn. Perfect on the first try. Yay. So basically what we're gonna do is we are just going to darken out this outline. And next we are going to get some poster board and put it on top and trace it out. So we can kind of get an idea how it's gonna look after cutting it out. So we have our hot boiling water and we are just gonna take some of our Instamorph and just pop it in there. Now we just wait until the plastic turns clear and so we are just gonna get some of our plastic out. It's hot. Be careful, this will be extremely hot because it is boiling hot. Just gonna keep molding it. So we have one ear in the making. We're gonna take our outline that we made and we are just going to press it down on top of it. And we are gonna take our scissors and cut around our outline. So next we are gonna take some of our plastic we are going to fit it to our headband and we are going to mold a little fastener onto it so that it stays on. So we're just going to... Now we have one of our ears completed. That's how one ear looks now. So we are going to put this off to the side and we are going to mold our other ear. how the horns look so far and we are just going to add some black paint to them. I am going to add some white highlights to the ears to make it more cartoonish like Bendy is. Now this will apply just like paint because it's a paint marker. All you have to do is shake it up and paint. And we will paint in some details to the ears. We're just gonna add some lines. You can't even see what I'm doing. So we got the highlights on the one ear and we just have to do the other ear. So there are our simple little highlights that we added to the ears. 
So I have my wig on and now is the moment of truth. How well do these ears fit? So I'm just going to place them on top. Awesome. Guys, I love how they look. I think these ears turned out amazing. I I really love how they look. They look so cool. Even with the hints, then just add your bendy bow tie. Just add your bow tie and you are bendy. So I hope you guys like this video of how I made my bendy bow tie and my bendy ears. If you guys want to see the final product of me fully in cosplay, you guys can check out my Becoming Bendy video, which I'll link down in the description below so you can see the whole glamour of the cosplay with the contacts and the makeup and the costume itself. So you guys can go check that out. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this and this could help you if you guys want to do a Bendy cosplay of your own. Love you guys.